I want it to make a tips and tricks video for the newcomers on Steam. And damn, this is loud. Already have two good um, characters for a new hunter and the Pentinent, which you started with when you first bought the game on the Epic Store. But I'm gonna start with a brand new class and wrap out as many tips as I can. Did I get a brand new class? Oh yeah, I get an intro. A oh. war rages. Sorry. In a distant no land, no, we don't only have witch that. hunters call ah, I cut that out after and a used long... it in every witch fire farm now. Okay, let's look at the details. I already have the hunter, which you start with the ricochet, I believe. Yeah, ricochet, which is a SMG, not too bad for starting out. Ooh, uh, the Midas, one of my favorite guns. You get fire bullets with it. Uh, the Midas is already a good starting weapon in my opinion. So if I would choose now, I would probably go Midas. Who do we have here? Cricket. I hate that thing. It's a SMG with a 20 magazine. And uh, it's all about pressing the dodge button with this thing. Lightning bolt is actually very good. Shadow. We got the all seeing eye. I do enjoy this gun a lot. It's a long range gun without a scope. And when you level it up, you get decay damage on your first hits. 75% health. More than 75% health they need to have, and then you get decay damage. Holy hell. Saint, Ricochet, and Vulture. Vulture is the demonic gun. And if you, I mean, you shouldn't get that vulture anyways. It's pretty much the best demonic gun out there. So that's pretty much the easiest starting class because you have the vulture and the ricochet. And the pentinant is the one who goes in with the hunger. And it sucks. And you get nothing as a bonus. The screenshot looks cool. I mean, I would say Midas. I enjoy this. Midas plus burning steak. It's my go-to. I don't need the tutorial. Learn your dodges and learn your double jumps. You can use both to very much dodge. Pray for insight. No, yeah, it's a tutorial. I don't need that. Double jump is good for dodging. Almost better than dash often. Damn chart. That means I can go into the island. Here's a brewery, you can brew potions with angelica flowers. You find them a lot in the first map. They up the numbers of those so it's easy to find. At first it was damn difficult. I don't think we can do anything here yet. No roots don't need that. Ascension shrine doubling up. The uh, most important things for me is witchery, healing, vitality and endurance. I don't need luck, mentor, know ya or how it's called this, you get more which fire points. There's no point in going down there yet, I don't have money to unlock it. Most things get unlocked. Gnosis level 2, level 7, so it's pretty much just farming from the start, so you can unlock everything here. And then, when you're ready for... The Scarlet Coast, the second map, and for Shield Bearer, you need to, should level up your guns to level 2 or 3. And the max level is really goddamn good. Let's get to the Scarlet Coast. But first, you should just farm and make it out. Get used to the controls and the first map, the new first map. It's pretty easy. First. When the game first came out, you only had Scarlet Coast. And you know, that map wasn't quite as easy. Also, on this first map, you don't get. What's it called? Hmm. And the witch notices you. Calamities. You don't get calamity events on this map. It's super easy. Yes, I know how to press the map. Those things give you witch fire, so I got it in my inventory, and I can just use it. I got witch fire; it will be useful for upgrades at the start. 
on my painting and character. I have so many of them because I didn't even use it. Didn't know what to do with it. Melee is good when the enemies come close. And dodge it like that. Those red bolts. And then you get passive bonuses. If you have a feather symbol, use a white ribbon feather stone view, you won't find a lot of those on the first map. Very much you get more passive bonuses. And it's pretty random unless you unlock those things. The prophecies give you certain passive bonuses. If you have a prophecy of fire here, then you get fire abilities here. That's for Gnosis level 2. Ah, uh, yeah. Go oh, blind fire. I don't miss my shots, but still. So what I would do in this first map is just go farm. Pretty easy. Fights. Alright, you don't have full half. You only get one potion, you get three potions at level 22 or 20, so so very much I would avoid you. Oh, yeah, I need the artifact to get in here, but I would probably just circle this and avoid the three skull enemies in the beginning. Especially on the Scarlet Coast. Just need to farm. And you lose all your witch fire, your money, if you die. Okay, is that an open chest? Some chests need keys, some are open. Out of those chests you get gold. And white rabbit feathers. Here, you need to raid those things so you can get into the welling tower. There are seven or so. Scale it across the map. Shouldn't be easy to find it so long there. Passive upwards. I don't even have spells. I'm gonna go in with my second character afterwards into the Scarlet Coast. And she goes towards the shield bearer boss. Let's see. I can defeat him. Defeated him with level 25, I believe him. 25, not 22. No, um, 27 or so. But it was a close call. I mean, I don't need to read through them anymore. You should. But I know already what I'm getting. Are you an open chest? I need a lot of gold. No, I've kicked it. The, well, okay, in the first map. Those risks don't mean a thing. I believe I lose health if I don't claim it. I can cleanse it with Witchfire, which is the Witchfire I have in my pockets. That's the currency when gold is needed to upgrade at that altar. No, not upgrade. Um, get guns, get gear. I just claimed it. Nothing happened. If I would do that on the Scarlet Coast, then I would fail the claim. Then... I would get sanity meters or calamity meters, those eyeballs. We got ammo here, don't need it yet. I will first go my way through here, then go back for the ammo, just go out here. You get your weapon fully loaded, full ammo if you take an ammo chest. So it would be better if you. Use that cleverly and don't just rush for ammo. Ha! Ah, you shall want to drain you. Miserable witch creature. This is a medium range gun, which means it doesn't have quite a good range if you go in with the hunger, which is a short range gun. Even though it's a revolver, you have pretty much zero range. You would watch one of my earlier videos of this game. When I started out with which fire on the epic store almost one year ago, damn it. Then you will see that the hunger just has zero range. That's a bad mushroom, that's gonna hurt me, I have a mushroom video. There are three good mushrooms and 
three bad ones. I mean, I have a lot of tips and tricks videos already uploaded. Not everything is up to date anymore. I for sure bear a video, which is obsolete. The boss fight was a little bit different back then. Okay, here we have a dungeon. Do I have enough money? No, Knoss is level 1. But it's a difficult dungeon. And you have a timer in there. So I wouldn't do that immediately. First, level up. Get yourself the gear. You're not ready for bosses yet in dungeons. This dungeon is an easy one. It will still probably kill you under the level. Let's say 20. I haven't unlocked every shrine on the way up. I would need to do that. Here's one for example, I believe there were seven. When you're out of stamina, you're extra slow and it takes forever to recharge. Somehow right now it's glitched. And I'm not slowed down at all. I can even jump. Ah, huh, sweet. Maybe it's map specific. I believe I got every one of those right there. This gun has good range. It's got a coast to war. Need a long range gun. And a medium range gun for this map. And Iron Castle. You almost don't need a long range gun. It's got a close there's a lot of long sidelines. Okay. I mean, I know how to play this game. Let's go fight those three goddamn scores, especially because my half is really full. Ammo. Yeah, that's a good call. Now I can crap ammo. You can always look where your exit portal is, and if you don't have any health juice left, maybe don't risk it. A lot of times, deadly and dangerous enemies can absolutely destroy you. Okay, inventory. Here we have your witch fire that you need for leveling up. And uh, I can just use all here. Get myself all of that. It's not too bad if you keep some of them. If you die, those witch fire clusters that you brought out beforehand will be in your inventory. And then you have a little bit of spare money. That makes sense. You take witch fire clusters with you after you die. Ah, you don't get any. After you die, you don't get any. But if you survive, you get those witch fire clusters out. Then you can use it in the future. Just in the inventory. So again, I need to. I don't know if I said that in a way that it makes sense. Run away. Those enemies are deadly. They jump around a lot. The guys with the sword. Let's wait a little bit. You need to keep your distance. And they do that. And you dodge that by jumping. I rather jump. Of course you can normally dodge it too. Those shots are better dodgeable. Of dodges. Ah, it's just some random dude. I got demonic ammo here, but I don't have a demonic gun yet. So it's kind of useless. There we have those witch fire clusters. So if you take them out of the map after you wrecking, you keep them. And if you die in the next round, you still keep that one that you brought out. And then you have some spare money. 
because you lose you you lose this witch fire but you don't lose them after you already evac them once that makes sense also you lose your gold and your gold is gonna be very important for the future okay let's open up the tower i believe inside you need gnosis level two to progress further So now enemies are gonna spawn. Those are the ugly sword masters. Didn't hear from the sword. difficult to fight. No, I can't so special this. Ah, you bastards. Ah! Especially with snipers next to you. My melee ain't ready, and the hub is low. This fight will be already difficult. No, well, don't do this fight yet. The start. Only if you're sure you can beat them and have a spare healing potion. You don't need to spend money on that. And here's the Scarlet Coast map chart to unlock the map. Fire Breath, that's a fire spell. Which is a good first spell, those quarters. And you unlock those shrines with Gnosis level 2. Which then you can go further into the tower. And on the first stage of the tower is a good farming stage, especially for AOP abilities, which have range. Like the meter's second ability or so. After overheated reloads, it makes a fire explosion. Slight one. Especially in combination with the burning stake, pretty good. Okay. I've wrapped myself through the first part. And brew potions here. You always have some spear potions. It's easy now to get them. <sighs> then we can level up here. Or spend our money on doorways. Yeah, and downstairs is a room where you can level up the map level. You get your Gnosis level here, which you need to get to certain points in the map and unlock certain chests. And there you can see I need to get to the Scarlet Coast, visit the shipwrecks, so I can up my Gnosis level, which will be needed for certain things, like getting Echoes, which can unlock more passive abilities. Here we have the upgrade table, the new one, where I can upgrade my meters and view the first Mysterium. And now I need to farm meters, goes and first Mysterium actions. So I can upgrade that gun further. And for those upgrades I need something also. I got a light spell, they didn't tell me. That's all that I have. Can I? Am I level 7 already? No, which level am I? Oh yeah, right. So you get levels. You need to upgrade here. So you can get those levels. Which is really good for spell recharge. Healing is good. Vitality is good. Endurance might not be needed that much in the start. So I'm level 3 now. I'm level 8. Am I? Oh yeah, I'll get starting points. Because it's an easier class. Good, that's good. I have 10 gold. I would go through everything that is free first. Like I need a heavy spell. It's free. Let's go get it. Shadow Orbs. They don't exist yet. Those things are needed for upgrading your guns and your rings and whatever. You need Kenosis 1. Fetish can't get any of that. I have a mid-range gun so I would go with a close a uh, long range gun which hopefully will be the all seeing eye 
Oof. Let's go to Scarlet Coast but first. Now I'm gonna train. Oh. On higher difficulties in this map and in the Iron Castle, traps are gonna spawn, new enemies are gonna spawn. That's a good mushroom. I can eat that without getting damage. So, uh, you won't see the symbols right here because there are no traps yet. They're gonna come later. Is that a trap? Dangerous area. I don't know what that means. To be honest, they yeah, fire breath spell. Easy. They have sound cues. The swordsman. And the visible symbol of when they're gonna attack. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go down here, I believe, and that's where I need to be for that unlock. I'm gonna go uh, through one of those portals, probably this one. So just burp and unlock Gnosis level 1. In the meantime, I'm also gonna look at my workshop. Because I want those two to be finished. For a god. Oh yeah, there's one. That's a bad mushroom. Let's eat it. Hmm. Never mind. <laughs> it should be a bad mushroom. I don't have the witch fire. I'm gonna claim it. Nothing bad happens. Is that... no. Hmm. Why did that mushroom not trigger me? Also... This gun... Now needs to be leveled up, so I need to check what I need to do for leveling this gun up. Some guns are more difficult to level up. Echo is a shotgun that took forever for me to level up. Psycho pump also, another shotgun. I believe the short range weapons in general gave me a harder time. World. Oh, yeah, I didn't have melee ready. I'm already eating damage. So that means I will probably go for a quick evac. Unless they throw me a health potion. But you lose health quickly. As soon as they hit you, you get debuffs. Often. Like losing stamina immediately. It makes it just more difficult to get away. Which means I probably won't get my research finished. No, it's probably won't. Yeah. Yeah, I could just waste time. Yeah, it should be a little artifact. Gnosis one. I don't know what it was, a ring or a fetish, something like that. Nothing interesting here. Hmm. Okay, let's cut. Cut. Let's see if I'm confusing my mushrooms. That should be a good one. That hit me and I got shot immediately. I'm very low on health. Which right now that low of the half and people constantly hitting you I will have to evac through one of those portals oh yeah right here there's still ammo down here normally you don't get pulled or something interesting out of the ammo oh there's a puzzle let's do that together one of the easier ones you pick through hear the sound cues and then there's skulls somewhere and you need to find them all three the three scores like this one and even though I say it's easy sometimes you just just takes forever to find the third one uh, which sometimes you need to crouch sometimes you need to look downwards it's kind of difficult I guess it's over here then. Mm. 
That is going to take forever. This is going to take forever. One of them is always disgusting out of range. Barely clipping in. Oh, God. Did I find it? Enemies just spawned from the bottle behind me. Not good. They're gonna come down here and I need to get rid of them. I have pretty low health. And I didn't finish the puzzle. But that's something you're gonna get. The higher the gnosis, the more dangerous enemies might come out. And I hate that. The hell was that? They just teleport. Ah, it's one of those dudes, of course. And they just teleport, yes. Ah, oh, there's always one. <sighs> but anyway, it's always one spot with that puzzle that you just can't find. Um, good mushrooms. Could be quite a lot of mushrooms in this place. Also over there, there's a spot. Okay. Ah, back to it. I did not find it. Let's try this again. Huh. This is a good one. Did that change? There's normally one more brown mushroom that's a bad one. This should also be a bad one. Yeah. This time. So, that's almost killing me. Maybe that changed. This one should also be a bad one. It's like this one. I didn't get any health from it. Maybe that's why. Ah, uh, I'm getting health. Red should be bad. Yeah. Okay. We just don't get any poison ex explosions. Hmm. The little green ones are the good ones. Ah, oh, that's not finished. I need to waste more time. Damn it. Damn it. Oh, oh boy, here we go again. Stop exploding. Okay, here we got the shrine again, but first I see here. I need eight more kills and I need one more enemy hexed, which means you should fire at them and they're hexed. So we'll get there. Uh, probably peek in and kill some people here and then sneak out. Because I'm closer to this than to this. But I don't need to free it if it's getting too dangerous. Okay, I will attempt this again. See that first? No, we just need to look around and one is more hidden than others. Sometimes they're on top of higher things. Everything should be in range too. And now... Now we need to look for the last one. It was the one is always difficult as hell to find. Okay, this is probably gonna take forever again. Yeah. So far, I hear noises, but I don't see them indicating anything to me. Right here, it's the loudest. Does that mean it's on top of here? Sometimes it's barely. Oh, I believe I saw it. No? Yeah, yeah, okay. God damn it, I want it. I'm gonna stick around for one more minute or so. Mm, okay, found it. I needed to jump. I don't know if I can see it from here. I could. Now we get a chest and there's gold mostly in there. And a second Mysterium incarnation, which is actually better than gold. Let's poke with the level 3 guys. Those things explode, of course they do. And it hurts yourself. Got a windmill up there. Somehow this area is always dangerous. And then we got the boss pretty close. Okay, let's mess with those guys. Okay, melee. This melee knocks them back. This melee does not knock them back. So then you strike them with the weak 
Nearly. It's just a rocket bloody one. To strike them with the weak melee while they attack you, you will get damage. You won't do too much to them. Oh, dangerous! I think should get my eight kills here. Always good to have some cover around. They have that too. Okay, let's hex them. And finish them. Oof. Damn it. See, it's getting already too dangerous. Let's see. Yep, perfect. Let's just get out. Melee. Explosion. Done. Sometimes they chase you. Sometimes when you run away, top left corner, you get an eye. That means if you get five eyes, you get calamity events. And calamity events will be quite difficult at the start to deal with. Those guys came from the portal. And we're gonna go to. And I'm gonna cut it in the meantime. I believe you can also shoot mushrooms and they still give you a little bit of witch fire. Hmm. Let us see what we get. I got a long range weapon. Hypnosis. Uh, I believe I got that as first gun. Also in the last round. Which is a pretty good gun. I'm seeing eyebrow is next and normally I should get the vulture first. If I... Cursed Bell, oh yeah, Cursed Bell is also first here, and the second is believed the Iron Cross, and Cursed Bell is... Ah, it's not good. So, wait for the Iron Cross, if you have the meters, go for the Burning Stake, which might be the third one. Right now, let's hunt for things I don't have yet. Level 10, let's level up first. Like a demonic weapon. Which level am I? 11, perfect. Damn, I need to sneeze. Mm. Oh, okay. Um, demonic weapon. Weapon. I don't need a weapon right here, even though they are free. I'm gonna go for that later. And can I get something else? No. Damn it. Okay. Well, let's go just for a free mid range weapon. And not spend too much money. I can upgrade everything. The meters needs a second Mysterium. We got through the chest with the puzzle. I would say go for Shield Burry if you have at least two abilities on both guns. And it's better if you have the third one. Um, enhanced gear. Oh, yeah, I can't enhance something else. Currently. Yeah. Yeah, I need the second incarnation for both of them. Guns come first. I get the first bell here. My opinion useless. Do I have something else? No. So first things first. Getting everything full here and leveling up. I'm gonna just press Gnosis 1. Which makes besides the first world, the first world doesn't change much. But Scarlet Coast is gonna get a little bit more difficult through that. I don't have enough witch fire. Okay. Okay, let's fight. Just shoot bear with the other character. Cut. Okay, I'm in with my level 23 apparently. Guy. I'm gonna level up a few things. Bonus switch fire is useless. Witchery is always good. I don't have enough. So I wanna get to level 25 seemingly. So I'm gonna sacrifice a lot of those things. Yeah, F is all. Let's see how much I need for that level up. Ah, oh, that's good. So if I die and only lose 3000, it's not that bad. And as you've seen, I got another bonus elixir now. I should be up at 
for Alexius research got done second ministerium incarnation now oh, I just need a third one so I need to save gold hang fire that's a good pistol but I can't farm right now I need third incarnations for most of the stuff I have like the red viva rot viva that I always mispronounce it would be good if you have at least one gun on level 3. I don't have that sadly. And it's difficult to... You know what? Let's go Psycho Pump. Let's go Close Quarters. And Vulture Iron Cross will be used. Yes, the other two are not dark. And Fire Breath for when he comes close. I don't have too much variety here. <laughs> yeah, as you can see. Okay, let's go into the shield bearer. Fight. Level 25. Which will be difficult. Okay, I got a bad spawn. I got a bad spawn. I won't fight my way through here. I will go outside and go this route that's the only thing i'm gonna do you don't need too much bonus best if to fight him if you have an area like that you're gonna lose too much health and ammo so i'm gonna go the easy route around with two ammo chests for the vulture and that should be enough i prefer having full health and ammo over fighting through the whole map, you most of the times just lose too much health, you know, no, no, cut. So, I got full healings, a lot of demonic rounds, only three perks, two of them are boosts, I don't want to save the boss it, and I'm gonna go down, mess with this dude already, I'm gonna keep my big spell, I'm just gonna psycho pump him up, and double jump away. Oh yeah, that was close. Oh, you could dodge away when he does that. That'd be for him too. Psycho pump. I'm gonna use the weaker weapon first. Spawns people already. Bastard. Dodges in good today. So we got a trump. It's so slow. There we go. Where is he at? Yeah. Okay, done. The most difficult thing is actually seeing him. I'm gonna make damage with one of my rings if I dodge through him. Okay, does he bring in his shield? No, more people. up all you pretty quickly that's important that you do damage that's for burning cross and burning cross burning stake and me does come in quite handy that's good right now i'm just gonna bring him down with the main guns and when he drops in his shield where he at? yeah Come then I'm gonna vulture him to death oh, it's time Get up, 
be careful to not get out, knocked out, out of this goddamn zone. And we will do that again in a second normally. Okay, where yet? Ah, oh, Pretty much dead. Ah, oh, he does it again. So we need to stay close when he pops that. And then get back in. Nice. What's the wall? The easiest boss in my opinion. Should bear our breaker. And we're done. 